this week's program of Ascend Life on the Autism Spectrum. I'm Keith Halperin. And I'm Will Burning. And today our guest is uh, Jennifer Polite, founder and executive director of Ascend Social Communities. And before we get in, Will, what's with your shirt this time? Well, for this month, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing another USF basketball shirt. Th today, today, next, today, it, the, it is near the end of, of the USF basketball season, and, and they have, are, are close to being in the playoffs. If they make it, they, they, will, have, have, they will have been in the playoffs for the first time in, in 10 years. Thank you. Will, would you like to uh, get into the questions with Jennifer now? I'd be glad to. Tell us, <coughs> tell us about your background. Yeah, good morning. So I started working with children and adults on the autism spectrum um, in ABA, Applied Behavioral Therapy Services. I did that for about six years. I met one kid and he changed my life. Um, and I decided to do something about that and, and start Autism Social Communities. And so that's where I, what I'm doing now and that's where I am today. Tell us, tell us about how you came to establish Autism Social Communities. Right. So learning um, all the things that I learned working um, with several ABA companies and also knowing about the challenges that plague the autism community, I decided to put those ideas together. And our vision is to reduce the 80% unemployment rate amongst the autism population. After working in ABA for six years and also learning about the challenges that plague the autism community, I brought those ideas together. Um, and our vision is to reduce the 80% unemployment rate, underemployment rate amongst the autism population, while also creating a pipeline to help children practice their social skills, um, also in, in, as well as executive functioning skills, again, to better prepare them for employment opportunities. Opportunities. Tell us about some of the, of the current activities of so, autism social communities. Right. Currently, we offer all-inclusive social community events for children on the spectrum to practice their social skills with their peers. Um, we are very focused on parent education. So when parents come, we have brochures and things like that to help guide social skills, um, to really help, again, educate parents and really, again, help kids and, yeah, provide that social skill aspect. In the community. Have you worked with any disabilities besides autism? Yeah, so when generally when children um, have autism, they're also accompanied by either intellectual disability uh, or even ADHD at some times. Um, and also, I've also worked with uh, children on the Down, who have Down syndrome as well. Very interesting, thank you. Can you tell us about uh, one or more of the recent events that you had for the autism social communities? Right, yeah, so um, typically, generally, we actually host our events in the Oakland community. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of outreach to schools in the OUSD um, to get parents to come, um, and also other nonprofits and organizations doing work in the autism field. Um, and so at our most recent event that we had in August, uh, it was successful. We had about 20 participants mm -hmm. come out. Um, parents, we had six different activity tables. Whoa. We had slime, we have creative painting. Um, all, you know, all while children are having fun, they get to practice their social skills um, and really have a good time. And so it's, it's really a really fun environment. Um, we had free food there um, by our sponsor. Um, and parents really enjoyed it and had a great mm -hmm. time as well as, again, learned about social skills mm -hmm. um, and also had the opportunity to educate their children as well about it. So excellent. Really it sounds like the parents are very much involved in these events. Is that correct? Right. And so we actually structure it to be that way. Um, we, again, apply strategies from ABA to really reinforce the ideas of helping parents to educate their children about social skills. So, yeah, oh, very, very structured. For our listeners who might not be familiar with what ABA is, can you describe it? I understand you worked with uh, ABA for a number of years prior to uh, starting um, 
uh, ASC. Right. Yeah. So ABA is called Applied Behavioral Therapy. Um, children on the autism spectrum, that is one of the main services that they receive when they do receive the diagnosis. Um, since working um, in ABA for about six years, I learned a lot of the strategies um, that I actually used to teach parents. So what I've done is we've applied some of those same parent strategies to our social community events. So what is your outreach initiatives? Right, so right now we're doing a lot of um, tabling events right mm -hmm. now. Our most recent event we had at the Mind Institute at UC Davis. Um, we have another upcoming one for the Special Olympics as well. Um, and also um, children with special needs. Um, and okay. so those are our next three outreach events. So we're really big on, again, outreach in the, in the, in the community. Yes. Um, and also targeting districts. Tell us about your out. Tell us about your outreach to the school to the school district. Right. So we believe that reaching out to schools is extremely important um, for for the reason that autism is the number one diagnosis amongst the OUSD and Alameda Unified School Districts. And so, again, we really want to provide that parent support um, and also let them know that, again, there are organizations in the community for, you know, to help their child. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to, again, connect children ages starting from ages mm -hmm. four all the way up to adulthood to, you know, agency, employment agencies such as neuro. I don't actually want to say that in here, but it's OK. So we could cut it. I don't want to say it in there. <laughs> Let's keep going. Connected to employment agencies. Yeah, just employment agencies. So we just want to connect them to employment. Are we going live? We are. Okay. <laughs> We get cut, so okay. don't worry. Okay, got it. We really, so again, our goal is to connect children starting from ages four all the way up to adulthood um, to then employment agencies. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your values. Right. So last um, Ascend Jobs Club, um, I had attended meeting. The last mm -hmm. meeting I had attended, um, I you guys saw me doing Instagram Live. Um, and so one of our values is community. Mm -hmm. So not only are we building a physical community, but we're also building an online community. So we had folks on Instagram Live wanting to chime in, asking us questions. And, mm -hmm. and so, you know, we're excited about that because again, that is one of our values to build a community as well as diversity, mm -hmm. inclusion, and also empowerment. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jennifer. And now we'll be hearing from our cultural correspondent, Stacy Kennedy. There's an artist exhibition that's running until March 7th. Um, on, I believe it, it's, um, yeah, on Thursday. Uh, on every Thursday until March 7th. Anyhow, there's an exhibition called Marilyn Wong at Creativity Explorer Gallery, which is on um, 16th Street, 32nd, excuse me. 3245 16th Street. So that's 3245 16th. Uh, Catching Spirits highlights the range and depths of Wong's artistic practices. Uh, Wong translates an endearing, captivating with pop culture from icons like Elvis to Prince, uh, popular cinema, 60s beach parties, and martial art films uh, into densely layered compositions. And they are built with complex line work pulsing with vibrant colors. Um, so, and that this starts at 7 and it goes till 9 p.m. until March 7th. And um, you can check out more information at creativityexplorer.org. And free parking, I believe, is available uh, during receptions. Um, the next thing I'd like to share is Time for Autism Awesomeness. This year, Saturday, April 27th, um, this is our the annual thing and talent show that they do at the St. Luke's Bre Presbyterian Church, and Karen Kaplan is the, fa the founder of Nonprofits of Offerings. She always runs it, and um, it'll be hosted by her as always, and you can meet and greet those um, with talent and those with honoring employers who provide opportunities for those on the spectrum and a toast to awesome people and programs. Admission is free. If our viewers 
want to get hold of you and Autism Social Communities, what's the best way? Yeah, you could either go to autismsocialcommunities.com or you could reach us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, um, at Autism Social Communities. Um, and then for our Facebook, it's, excuse me, for our Twitter, it's Autism Social Communities, excuse me, for Twitter, it's Autism Social Co. One. And that's our show for this week. I want to thank you, Jennifer Flight of Autism Social Communities. I'm Keith Halperin. I'm Will Burnick. Stacey Kennedy. Jennifer Polite. And until next time, uh, very best to all of you on Ascend, a uh, life on the autism spectrum. Thank you. Thank you.